Kia ora, I'm David Chastam with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news commodity prices are on the move up and in a serious way. But not for iron ore, because the central decisions made in Beijing and striking their steel mills to reduce output. And more cuts are coming. The price of iron ore is now falling, and quite fast. It's down almost 20% in China trade over the past two weeks, and most of that fall was in the past week. However, the price of other minerals are all on the rise. The lead price is at a three-year high. Lithium is also at a three-year high. Some are at all-time record highs, like tin. A nine-year high was recorded for the nickel price and a ten-year high for the aluminium price. Further, the Baltic Dry Index is remaining high. And, of course, the biggest commodity price shift of all is for oil. The gains for commodity exporters so far this year have easily outweighed their losses last year when the pandemic spread and crushed demand for raw materials. It has been forecast that $550 billion will shift from importers to exporters in 2021, nearly double the $280 billion that transferred the other way when the prices collapsed last year. All this is happening as China is in a summer holiday mode and the senior leadership of their government typically go on holiday at this time for about two weeks. But they'll be eyeing the very weak PMI data that's set released over the weekend, with factories barely expanding there and their service sector expansion slowing. Both came in weaker than expected. Extreme weather and rising raw material costs are behind the stall. The US Treasury 10-year yield starts today sharply lower at 1.23% and down six basis points over the past week. The price of gold is now just under $1,814 an ounce and up $2 from what we reported on Saturday. And oil prices are stable over the weekend. And in the US, they're now just over 73.50 a barrel, while the international Brent price is just under 75.50 a barrel. The Kiwi dollar opens at just on 69.7 US cents and reflecting a risk off mood. We start the week pretty much where we started last week. Against the Australian dollar, however, we're marginally higher at 95 Australian cents, and that's our highest level this year. Against the euro, we're unchanged at 58.8 euro cents. That means our trade weight index starts today at 72.6 and 25 basis points lower than this time last week. We welcome your feedback on the issues today. Leave a comment below or on our website. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.